Hello, boundless citizens, and welcome to Halloween episode of Fortnightly. It won't all be about the spooky time, really, creepy trees or blood moon. It's just that time of the year again, and spooky orbs are dropping from plants, and I must talk about it some. Let's get to it. Mrs. Starr has spoiled us with another event in her Phantom of the Opera domain. This time a Halloween maze. I got late, a bit, like 15 minutes or so. I did have to get up at 3am for it. Luckily I was off work, so I didn't care about my sleep being abused. <laughs> I could see a bunch of name tags floating around right away. It was just a case of finding the entrance and joining others in getting lost. So, the maze. And in it, shop stands to find. And in them, some goodies to collect for free. No minotaur waiting inside, luckily. I suppose a thread or crumbs to mark the way would be illegal. Not sure, didn't ask. But I erred on side of caution and didn't bring any cheat codes with me. <laughs> So no crumbs and no thread to lead me around the maze and back. For someone late I was pretty lucky to find a shop stand soon enough and a nice diamond hammer in it. Forged and all, of course. There were 20 shop stands in that maze, apparently. But Mrs. Starr did sneak inside a few times to quickly plant some extra prizes. Although, I don't know whether she just added new gifts to existing stands or put extra stands in new locations. No difference to those who found all the goods, I suppose. One thing I had in mind wandering around the maze was how many doors went into building it. They were everywhere. Some were dummies, didn't know where, just to make it interesting, I suppose. <laughs> So, that one was a maze from last year event, simply replenished with new gifts. But on top of that, Mrs. Starr built a new floor, where she placed 20 more shop stands, and in them more freebies for everyone to find, of course. I expected more doors, but surprise, no doors at all. A lot of lava, though, giving me creeps in first moments before I got used to it and stopped worrying about being burned to crisp. <laughs> Lava was under a glass floor, so we were safe. There were 14, maybe 15 people, or thereabout, searching through the maze, and we eventually found all the hidden gifts, including the extra ones sneakily placed by Mrs. Starr whenever no one looked. Crafty move on her side. It sure was great to see this many players together in one place and having fun. You will see some familiar names there, I bet. Great event altogether. It took well over an hour to complete both floors of maze and after that another while to get some extra gifts in chests, when we were all back from getting lost. Mrs. Starr proved to be an excellent host yet again. And she already announced Ultma's maze event, so keep an eye on things to come before the year end. Okie dokie, time to move from the main topic to some quick hits. Remember Am and his sovereign Italian? I covered his farm hub a while ago, and now I'm back to show a bit of expansion. If you didn't see it before, here is your chance to take a look at it and add it to your list of places to go and use. Portal to Gravel Farm was added since my last reporting here. And the sponge farm in the portal hub got bigger, apparently. Debobik posted this request a while ago 
and it made me curious what all that is going to be used for. So I visited his place on Till, It unsurprisingly have lava in its name. <laughs> the size of it did surprise me. He really built a lot already and you can see there is more expansion planned. I really like those walls made of different metal blocks. It caught my eye from a distance first and I couldn't tell what it was made of until I got closer. Excellent idea and giving surprising look from farther away. If you have enough details loading at a distance that is. Shorty and Woofy's experience farm on a sovereign. I'm not sure how new it is, might have been there for a while without me noticing. You might have seen it and used it already, but here I am giving it a go myself with first of my alts. And if you didn't know about this place, go and get some free and fast experience. Now on a sad side of news, Tula Sovereign is gone. And with it the entire portal network, of course. On this sad empty space that's here in Dragon Hub now. Or that dormant portal in River Towns. Oh well. I don't want to end quick hits with bad news though, so I will show you ever expanding Kakarot network. The surrounding rooms got bigger and host shops now. It's really spacious. Looks like something is brewing below here. Still a work in progress. And there is a slide. A simple slide, it says. So let's check it out. We. Damn, it's longer than I expected. Still some way to go. Nice. It's, uh, let's see. Altitude 17. A quick hop back up to the top. I will check altitude here. Wait, what? What's happening? Oh my God, can you see that? What? How? When? Why? Well, I mean, I'm alone. Wait a minute. It looks like I slid through a few regions, I suppose. At least two, I guess. Whoa, that's some meteor bonanza. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so, what's the altitude here? We are almost on top of the world at 253 and that makes it 236 blocks height. This slide, I mean. A simple slide, it said on the sign. <laughs> it's really long, even though not the longest possible. And it's straight with no bends and curves. but you can trigger some meteor shower. Anyways, that's a nice and surprisingly amusing end of the quick hits. Come and visit Kakarot, people. Connect here and enjoy all the perks around. There's a lot to visit here. More than you expect, I bet. More than I showed here, I assure you. And with that, I very much thank you for watching, stay put, safe and happy, love yourself, love your neighbor, and love Boundless. See you in the next one.